I've gotten a lot of grief. Can you imagine for just being a lady that likes to do all the things boys like to do? And they sing about it forever. They've always sang about it. It's celebrated. Strippers and fucking and drinking and drugs and it's great. But if a girl sings about it, then she must be like a nasty, skanky hoe. I grew up in the Bible Belt. So I went to many, many churches and I saw there were so many people that felt excluded by particular parts or rules of certain religions. And I feel as if spirituality should not be dependent on sexuality. So really, it's an ass-shaking song with acceptance of your own spirituality and acceptance and celebrating yourself underneath all of that ass shaking. Hallelujah. I'm still here. Still bringing it to ya. Om like Buddha. I liked the idea that that would be the first line people would hear off the first single off my new record, which is reclaiming not only my voice, but my happiness and my love of pop music. Praise whoever, whatever. I'm still here. I'm gonna bring this shit to you right now. And I'm be zen as fuck about it. Good girls know how to get hard too. Yeah. I'm all fucked up in my Sunday best. No walk of shame, cause I love this dress. I'm making my grown ass woman decisions and I'm owning them and no one's gonna shame me into any sort of corner. That's bullshit, it's archaic, and shove it up your ass. Hung over heart of gold, holy mess, doing my best. Bitch, I'm blessed. You are here. We're still making music. You get to do this as like a job. I put that very much in quotation marks because I would be doing this anyways, even if nobody wanted to talk about it or listen to it. Oh, if you couldn't tell, we can always find the trouble. We don't need no help. I think that's obvious at this point in my career that I'm good at finding naughty, fun things to get into. Singing, oh. Mama raised me well, but I don't want to go to heaven without raising hell. Get it. It's a celebration of people that like to go out and get a little fucked up and have a good time. And it doesn't mean you're a bad person, nor does it mean anyone should ever judge you. I, in fact, think that life is for living, so live it. Get it. Get it. Drop it down low. Hit it hit the floor with it. I'm obsessed with Frida, and I just think she's such an icon. She invented her own genre of music. I've been such a fan, and then I went on the Kesha cruise. The first time I ever saw her play was on the cruise, and I thought the perfect way to kind of sum up the whole experience was to have Frida on this song about loving yourself and being yourself, and who's more herself than fucking Big Frida. Drop it down low, drop it down low. Drop it down low, drop it down low. Get it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it down, down low. Bounce it up and down where the good Lord split it. I love shaking my ass. It makes you feel good. I feel like animals go outside and they play. People shake their ass and like it just feels good. I feel like it releases stress. Hands up, witness. Solo cup full of Holy Spirit. You're feeling something when you're going like this. Like this is not just something you do when you're just like, I'm really bored. Like you're like, yes, yes, I'm feeling something. So to me that just the image of that is powerful. And solo cup full of Holy Spirit. Cause then I think about my shows and there's usually a solo cup in there. <laughs> it can be full of whatever you want it to be. I'm not saying it has to be alcohol but it's full of the Holy Spirit, whatever that means to you. Something wicked. Speaking in tongues in my blood red lipstick, I put out a lipstick called Raising Hell. I could only do one lipstick color and I decided to do red. That was challenging me to try a new persona and challenge my perception of femininity, which was blonde hair and pink lips always. And now I'm like black hair and red lips. I'm all fucked up in my Sunday best. No walk of shame, cause I love this dress. Only God can judge this holy mess. Bitch. 
I'm blessed. So there are parts that I think that are important to reiterate, especially if they're important sentiments, like, bitch, I'm blessed. I say that again, and because I feel like that's like what I keep coming back to in life. But the line before it I wanted to change because I think it's important to acknowledge that if I'm hungover, no walk of shame, doing whatever the fuck I want, only God can judge this holy mess. Ladies and gentlemen, aw shit. Let's shake what the good Lord gave us. Yes, baby. Come on, let's go. Uh-huh. I put on music in the morning, try to put myself in a really good headspace, and for me that comes from listening to like the poppiest of all pop music. And I just shake my entire body as hard as I possibly can. So that's like also why I wanted to write a song about ass shaking is because it's the way I start my day and it usually leads to a much better day when I take the time to shake my ass. Aw dang, this that shit. Beat like this, wanna shake my, ooh. Aw dang, this that shit. Beat like this, wanna shake my, ooh. Aw dang, this that shit. Beat like this, haters suck my dick. Ooh Lord, feeling it. Beat like this, make me feel that power. Shout out to Stint, he's amazing, it's an amazing beat, and it does make me wanna shake my shit, but it's also fun because I go from wanting to shake it, Frida wants to shake it, haters can suck it if they don't like it, because this song makes me feel very powerful. Can I get an amen? Ah. This is for the misfits of creation. Take this as your holy validation. Come on. You don't need to hide. We're celebrating. Sing it, Kesha bitch. This is our salvation. This part of the song is really like, I think the most obvious shout out to my LGBTQ fans, family, friends, my people, that this is a place to feel safe and like live it up and don't hide. We definitely do have matching tattoos of dead fish. We had a lot of ideas going through our heads, but we decided that we were forever bonded and we always got each other's backs. If anybody fucks with Frida, they're gonna swim with the fishes, vice versa.